So, uh, Crosstown Traffic, Mark, what do you think? Uh, I love it. I'm a big fan. It's almost as awesome as trying to get into this, uh, this lane here now. Yeah. I can feel the love right now. Can you feel okay. the love? I can feel this guy not letting me over. Yeah, I can feel him with his bumper, right. like, in your, in my cheek. Road trip! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the happy hour, guys. And you know what? New Jersey gets a bad rap. You know, that stereotypical image of the factories just off the New Jersey turnpike. Well, truth is, there's a lot more to this state than that. And there's a lot more craft beer than you might imagine. So we plugged in the GPS and we headed south for Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. But I gotta say, we weren't quite sure what we would find there. Welcome to the frozen tundra. He's Mark Aldrich. He's Jimmy Ludwig. And we are the, the Happy, Happy Hour, Hour guys. guys. It's not quite the frozen tundra, it's the Jersey Shore. Yes, but it is the frozen Jersey Shore. We are the tanned people. <laughs> They're not here. <laughs> what is this white stuff? This white it's stuff. A lot of snow. It's the purest sandy beach you. No, it's not. It's snow. It's snow. Damn it! Garden Brewing in Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. If you've got a brewery in your town, things are gonna be okay. That's right. It'll always get better. Let's go check it out. Let, why are you cold? Oh no, I'm fine. Really? Because I'm cold. Cart <laughs> Brewing. I think. It's a very well kept secret. There's no signs. Just cartons. Wow. This is the brewery. This is the brewery. Ah, oh, that brewery smell. Please, sir, state your name and your position. I am Augie Carton of Carton Brewing, and you're in our tasting room in Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. Uh, when did Carton Brewing begin? When did you officially make your start? So, today we're in January 2014. 14. We opened August 2011, so we're just about two and a half years. Ago. Wow. Interestingly enough, it turns out that this little nondescript red building has some brewing history to it. Well, my favorite part about it is Vegan Span. Are you guys aware of Vegan Span? No. What vegan, is vegan Span was a brewery in Newark that at some point oh. combined with Ballantyne. Mr. Vegan Span actually lived in Robson, which is about two towns away. Huh. But this was a depot for their beer pre refrigeration. What I like most about that is you know that Chico the granddaddy yeast of America brewing that Ken uses in uh, right. Sierra was, I think nobody denies it, but at least it's rumored stolen from Ballantine's IPA. It was a sample out of Ballantine's IPA. Uh -huh. So if that's the yeast strain that, that is the beginning of American craft, right. it lived in this building at some point in the 30s. Wow. We came up with the plan basically around boat beer. Three years ago, the idea of a uh, what, what now people call a Session IPA, IPA didn't yeah, exist. Yeah. We we're very careful not to identify Boat as a Session IPA because it's not a small IPA. Our, we, we made a decision early when we were trying to come up with these flavors. The potential of an IPA, in, in my opinion, is, is the richness of a big malt and all the things you can do with hops against that. When we were trying to sort that out in a smaller beer down or down around 4%, cheers to you guys. Thank yeah, you. Cheers. cheers. Thank you for uh, having us, by the yeah. way. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks so much. So when we were trying to sort that out down lower, we felt that the the thinner body of the less alcohol, mm -hmm. you know, you could make it super aromatic and hoppy, and that was pretty, but it wasn't a session beer because you didn't want a fifth and sixth and seventh. You could right. drink them, but you didn't right. want them. Right. So our solution was to go really dry and crisp and keep it in ale by using a Kolsch yeast so you'd have some of those flavors of all the ale things, but not just be a small, thinner IPA, just its own kind of really rocky thing with a ton of hops mm -hmm. in it, and that's both. So, to, you know, it, with that plan, we thought small in our community, people raised around us, with us, with the same pizza places would want it. And if we only tried that hard, it wouldn't be insane. And then six months later, we were installing the group of tanks we had on the business plan for year five. Oh God. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So the prevailing philosophy at Carton Brewing is that beer is food. Beer is cuisine, both in terms of their year-round brews and their one-offs. So Rebecca Flynn, who's the head of sales and marketing at Carton, took us through a bit of a tasting. Yeah, so 077 is our version of a West Coast double IPA. So, you know, there's really bold, beautiful flavors that everybody loves. And the name 
comes from the zip code around here. So basically every zip code in Monmouth County is 077 something something. <laughs> but I mean, it's just got an amazing aroma of like pineapples and tropical fruit. You, you know, it's almost 8% alcohol and it's so balanced. It's so balanced, you would yeah. not know that when you're drinking. Awesome, so this is carton of milk. Basically what Augie tells people is that if, our, if we were called Quaker, we would have made an oatmeal stout. So with the name like carton, we had to make a milk stout. <laughs> we try to avoid sweetness in a lot of our beers. We you know, strive for drinkability and sessionability and just really clean flavors. So the carton of milk is great because it's, you know, it's our blackest beer, but it's 4%. So again, yeah, it's a really nice, light, creamy body. Yeah, it's super good. I drink black coffee when I drink coffee. And I've lived in this part of New Jersey for 43 years. And if I just run into a place and say, give me a pork or leg and cheese and a coffee, and they say, how do you want your coffee? I say regular. And what I mean is black with caffeine, right. no sugar. <laughs> and what regular means is coffee, milk, two sugars. Yeah. It's, it's much more like coffee, ice cream, than, mm -hmm. like, you yeah. know, than, than espresso. So when we figured out that that might be a fun thing to do, make a golden cream ale, Oh my god. Taste and do a coffee this <laughs> I haven't yet, oh no. my god. And do a Holy coffee milk two sugars as a beer. <laughs> that's where we went. That and is awesome. So that's the one that came out last Sunday and that's this is a nitrogenated version, obviously playing up the creaminess even more. <laughs> what the hell is right? that? No. Other than delicious. This is delicious. Thank you. This Thank is you very wow. much. That's yeah. really, and and congratulations. I have never had or heard of or seen anything like this before. No, this absolutely not. That is this is amazing. This is really, really wonderful. And you call this regular we coffee? Call it regular coffee. So the conversation here at Carton Brewing is about flavors. And that's what you should do to come down here to Carton Brewing and talk flavors. Come here, taste this beer, take some home with you. And remember, <laughs> it's just further evidence of like where it, the drift is, yeah. is where, headed. Where, yeah, where just it that should be. Beer, yeah. You know, beer belongs on the dinner table. Beer is cuisine. It's a part of your dinner. Yeah. I like to say that if, if every culture in the world has their roast chicken, mm -hmm. what you want with your roast chicken on a Thursday in August and a Sunday in December are very different. Yeah. Indeed. And sometimes it's going to be a big Chardonnay, yep. and sometimes it's going to be our beer BDG, and sometimes it's going to be just a glass of orange juice because you're tired. You know what I mean? Yeah. And no one is better than the other. Yeah. You just got to find the flavors yeah. and put them together the way you feel. So let's talk about the place. Um, as we discussed, the, the old building, which is basically to the brick wall, uh -huh. built in the 1890s, 1900s. We have a 15 barrel brew house built by Newlands for us. Uh -huh. You'll see when we get to the cellar side, we have about an inch clearance everywhere. The problem with choosing an old building is right. you've got to shoehorn it. Right now we're doing our second brew today of our double IPA 077XX. Uh -huh. And now cellar side, right? So we've got, we were talking about the two phases, yep. right? We usually open with the 330 barrel fermenters and this 30 barrel bright. And yep. then, like I said, six months in, we added these 345 barrels and this 45 barrel bright. And that's our capacity. If America's a melting pot, Jersey is the heat source, right? We've got, we're just surrounded by every input in the world between New York and Philly and Newark and Jersey City. And we've got everybody and everything. We just look around for different inspirations. And we're, we're two and a half years in and we've never had to make a pale ale or an IPA because our ideas are green apple wasabi sours. And, you know. <laughs> and we're trying to sort out some level of growth that works with us not leaving right. this town or this area. And, right. you know, the funny thing about New Jersey is, so my house is a mile from here. I grew up one mile from here. Wow. To get from here to my house, you go through four towns. Wow. Yeah. It's just the way Jersey yeah. is. Yeah. So we definitely can't make enough beer. Yeah. And that's a fine problem to have. I'm Absolutely. not, not yeah, upset about it. Yeah. We feel that a big part of that is our water. It's the water we grew up with. It's, sure. how we, it's what's yeah. in our pizza. Yeah. It's what's in right. our bagels. Right. It's what's in it's your body. It's what's in our glass. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. It's part of your home. Where, where is your uh, your little pilot system? This way. Oh, Follow me. And ask. you be careful. What you call it? Tippy. About tippy, the tippy. Tippy. Oh, sorry. Tippy. So one of the things we love about the craft beer industry is that the spirit of ingenuity never fades. And as they get larger, many craft brewers will hold on to the original pilot system, the small brew system that they started with, and use it for experimentation. Every Sunday at 11, this thing <laughs> gets that. rolled into this space, and we brew something. What it's going to be, we never know. Do you put those beers on in the tap room immediately? or Kind of philosophically, my worst nightmare is our beers ever becoming precious. So basically, we'll put something on here on a Sunday uh -huh. and roll it out to our two distributors and our accounts on Monday. I know, I just love the idea of like a, like a creative jam session every Sunday. Every just Sunday. get together. Yeah, it's actually, it's, when we hired the new brewer, somebody asked that, because you know, he's the head brewer of Six Point. 
and is coming to us and I've got a head brewer and you know it's, right. it's, it's kind of my recipes or my concepts that we all do together and, yeah. and I just I went with that that lesson I'm like it, it's kind of like when one day the Grateful Dead had two drummers not because they were looking for a second drummer but a great second drummer said he'd play and they yeah. were not going to add him absolutely yeah. and that's you know it's, it's, it's kind of that philosophy of hey dude the guy's got something to add to our sound yeah. throw yeah. him on and we'll figure out how yeah. to make it work It's uh, it's it's actually holds temperature very nicely. It does. So when we first moved in, we thought about knocking this out, and since it's all concrete and rebar, we were told that would never work, and it would take you know, 50 men a thousand hours, and so basically it, it just became our barrel area. Nice. Um, so we can't go high, but we go deep, and we all oh, crouch down and walk in there, and um, we're not nutty about the idea of just throwing stuff on barrels. Yeah. You know, again, it's we're always trying to create a flavor. We've got a local neighbor who's a rum importer. Over here are his oh. rum barrels from St. Kitts, oh, and wow. we make a we make a kind of non-spiced spice porter. And then over here we have other neighbors who is the the Laird's family, Laird's Apple Jack, Oh sure, yeah. Which is America's oldest yeah. distilling license is in Colts Neck, which is just a couple towns over. Huh. So in the back there are five Laird's Apple Jack barrels, which has our pumpkin cream ale on it um, from last year, and we're just letting that. Go aptly. Yeah. Can there be, you know, too many craft breweries? There's a number. There's a number of how many breweries America can truly support, and at what level. I don't think we're anywhere near it. The city of Portland has something <laughs> like 63 yeah. breweries, yeah. <laughs> and true. the state of New Jersey now has 28. Some of which are at the one barrel size. Right. 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 You know, I like to make the joke that in New Jersey. We can have two different pizza places at the opposite ends of the same strip <laughs> mall. True. As That's long true. as each one of them's making good pizza, yeah. Yeah. they're yeah. both going to yeah. succeed. As you were sort of developing your, your skills as a brewer, who were some of the people that you admired most in the industry? Guys like Sam at Dogfish, obviously. Patrick Rue at Brewery. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love everything Russian River does. Yeah. That ends in Cation. <laughs> um, those guys that are just know our job is not to make the greatest American version of something else, our job is to take the inputs we're afforded and make something that is uniquely ours. Uh, you know, get to know your local brewers, folks, because uh, they're great neighbors. We say it every, every time, but, but they're making incredible beers here at Carton Brewing, and they've got a fantastic spot in which to do it, and uh, you should make it your mission to come down here, try some of their beers, get to know them. They're, they're, uh, they're good folks. Yes, they're absolutely focused on creating intense and wonderful and ever-changing flavors here and doing things with beer that you mm -hmm. may have never tasted before. Yeah. yeah, and they're expanding the way people think about beer, which is, you know, exactly the kind of brewer that we like to, uh, to spend some time with. Get yourself to Jersey, check out Carton. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Out about just in a, my tongue just froze. <laughs>